Hi everyone. In today's video, I'm going to talk about INS hosting and I'm going to give you overview where is what after login and having your account first. So it will be look like this once you will come on their website. So you can choose the web hosting or any other services. After that, once you have decided, so you can log in. I'm going to show you how you will be logging in after purchasing the hosting. So this is our hosting account. We are on login and now I'm going to click login. And now I'm giving password. By the way, it is in Mexican language, but you can translate into English if you will see here an icon of translation. So this is our hosting. We will go by clicking this link. Here you will see the general information of the hosting. Here is your web hosting. Here is your SSH and FTPs. Here it is your database. PHP. The other information and scans. And as well as CDN. So I'm going to show the first thing first is web hosting. So we will go by clicking here. So you will see something like this after entering into your web hosting file manager and here are your files your WordPress is installed so that's why you see these kind of files if you have installed any other CMS you will see any other CMS here you can upload or here you can add any other new folder this is your path link once you will click for example this then here it is your log and then log is showing your traffic this and that other access information and so on So, the, so this is the main directory so here you will find inside the directory these folders and files as well as their permissions here you see the file permissions the type of files they are all folders here they are files php text html and their size you will see the size here so here we have now finished i will take you another side we will click back here to come on control panel which is actually hosting so this is their basic package which is they are giving us so much um, like 100 gb storage uh, 20 FTP access 25 databases um, and so other information related to the system you can find by clicking here and then have a look so we will go here now to the databases for databases you click here Once you click here you come to see your database version mysql 5.7 and then if you want to access your php my admin then you go here click on this link so 
so as you can see their logo Binance PHP my admin this is your database and then you will see your database here The, we have got here only one database that's why you see only one database now we close this one we go back and now we check other options for example PHP if you don't know then don't touch it is good but if you know then you change the configuration but better not to touch otherwise your website will be messed so here are some information and the websites now these are the FTPs we will see them as well so we have got two FTPs so one is by default the another one is for masters so the information you know if you want to know what information is you click here and then you just click on this link and then get this all login and password and full data of um, the database how will you be accessing this web hosting uh, manage, file manager or if you don't need this account or if you just want to keep one account you can click the another one eliminate or delete and then this account will be deleted so now we go back here so this is how it looks like if we go in menu we'll see they are offering SSL they are offering email um, other web stuff but it up it is up to you what services you like to purchase but if you purchase hosting this is what I'm giving you uh, an overview and it will look like this so guys if you have any other question related to any other hosting please let me know I will bring that hosting to you as well that you can have a look and see what they are offering and how does it look like from inside um, and please don't uh, forget to share like and comment this video I appreciate and have a great day thank you